Hey everybody, how you doing today? Recently, a bunch of people have requested to see how to apply a loading screen to their web pages or their web documents, whatever, their home page. So that's what we're going to demonstrate. Now I'm just going to demonstrate something very simple that you guys can expand upon if you're interested. Alright, what I have here is my index page for my my homepage for adamcorey.com. Now I have the stuff in the head and stuff in the body all collapsed up so it doesn't get in the way visually of what we're doing. So I'm just going to go into my body element right here and I'm going to add a div with an ID of load screen. Then inside of that div, nested inside, there's a child div with an ID of loading. Now I'm simply going to go up into the head of my document and I'm going to put in some style to affect the load screen and its child loading div. So these properties here they affect the load screen itself so it would be black full opacity you can put that on 0.5 if you want half opacity and basically what you're doing is putting an overlay until the window is ready so inside of this overlay you're gonna have another div that you can do anything you want with you can put text in it that is flashing all you have to do is use a transition or an animation a keyframe animation to make some text flash saying the document is loading or within this element you can remove the text and just put a little graphic that might be a little loading icon but make sure it's not very heavy it has to be a fast loading graphic that's why it's best to just put text and maybe some CSS that will make that text flash and I have uh, tutorials about how to make text flash and pulse and things like that now in this case I just made the loading screen really high that way it fills the whole viewer window vertically it's only gonna last for a split second anyway so now underneath the style element we're gonna add a script element so what we're doing here is we're adding an event listener to the window object and the event is the load event so when the window is fully loaded and the DOM is ready then this function whatever's inside of this function is going to execute so we just get the load screen object reference and then we say document dot body dot remove child of load screen so we just remove the load screen child element from the body which is this div right here load screen and whatever's within it its child elements will also get removed alright so let's run a live test what I did was I FTP'd my new index file up to adamcorey.com and now I'm gonna navigate to it now we made sure that I cleared my cache so I cleared my browser cache now I'm gonna navigate to my site and keep an eye on the screen you see it says loading document in a black screen and then when the documents fully loaded and ready then that screen goes away so you effectively have a loading screen that you can do whatever you want with 